Well, Dante, uh, first of all, your perfect record in interim charge continues in emphatic style, it has to be said. What did you make out of it that, that today? Um, the boys were brilliant, again, um, in the change room, just said how proud I am to be um, interim manager of this group of lads. Um, backroom staff, everyone who's who's helped during minutes. And then I think today was a massive game. We knew that um, it was going to be a tough game. Um, but like I say, the attitude and application of everyone involved today, and that's not just the players, that's all the staff, um, the the detail that's gone into planning for this. Um, I've had so many messages from the staff with highlights. I think I've, I've watched Lee way too much now. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? That's, that's just credit to everyone involved. What pleased you most today, other than, of course, the result? Um, I think for me, it was just that application again. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, every game we keep coming into and we say we've got, we've got to improve on the last game, got to improve, and the lads are just doing it. And that's not just today, that, that comes from training. I said training on Thursday. I went home and I, I thought to myself, this group's got so much energy, so much like vibrance around the place, and and I was I, I sort of knew this was coming, this performance today because the signs were there all through the week, and that's a credit once again to the players and the staff just for ev everyone keeping that that sort of togetherness, and you you, you can feel it, and then uh, even with the crowd today, do you know what I mean? It was unbelievable. It, it just everything just felt felt like it was going to be a good day. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit now. Mm -hmm. After the Hanley game, mm -hmm. you said that yourself and Duff rated it as a 6 out of 10. Yeah. What did you rate today? Um, six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like, I think today, first half, um, we obviously we scored the four goals. Um, something that doesn't usually happen. We normally wait till the second half to get them. And then second half, I actually think we played a lot better. There was a lot more space. Um, we kept moving the ball really quick. Um, but I think, like I said last week, it comes down to um, what we do in the first half. And luckily we got the goals with with the moving the ball in the first half. And that sort of, I think the game was probably, you'd say, done at half time. But we didn't stop. We It wasn't for the ones to try and to score more goals. We had chances in that second half. Um, so as long as we just keep doing what we do, um, I'm happy. It's a bit of a weird one in a way, wasn't it? Because as you've just alluded to, you said that, Arguably, we played better in the second half, but up until we scored that first uh, first goal, yeah. it was a fairly even game, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely, and we expect we expected that the second in the league for a reason. So we knew that it wouldn't just be a, a a walk in the park. We had to earn the right to get them four goals, and I think we did that. It was a tight game at the at beginning. Um, they were given as good as the, as as they were getting. Um, but like I said, if we just keep doing the right things, which we keep hammering into the boys then we always feel that eventually uh, we'll come out on top. And that, that the main foundations of that is the work, the work rate, the intensity, the closing down, um, not just going half-heartedly. Everything has to be full, do you know what I mean? And the boys did that. And then I think when we, when we put that much effort in, the other team seems to wilt. Um, they just don't seem to be able to keep up with us for the whole game. So um, as long as the boys keep doing that application, I, I just keep smiling because it, it, they, have, <clears throat> they have honestly been brilliant and like I said, big massive credit to all the staff. Um, Duff's has been unbelievable, do you know what I mean? Um, every, everyone involved, um, the two Robs, do you know, in, for the encouragement. Um, I, I'm on the phone to Slav, as everyone knows, <laughs> every day, do you know what I mean? But I love it because I'm learning, do you know what I mean? And we're all learning together. We talk a lot, don't we, about our goal scorers and our offensive play, but defensively today, another clean sheet. You yeah. must be so proud of that as well. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, I think all the defenders at the back have been brilliant. But we, when we when we talk about defence, it starts from the attack as well. And I thought Nicky Maynard worked his socks off. He didn't get the goals today, but he added so much his movement um, for creating space for other players. Um, so. When we talk about defence, I think it goes right through the team. And then when we talk about attack, I think you start back with the defence. Do they keep us high? Do they allow us to get in the opposition's half? Um, all of it goes together. And uh, Duff's mentioned before the game, he said it's about the unit. So 
the defence is the attack and the attack is the defence and we've been doing that. How difficult is it for you at the minute in terms of picking a team with so many players playing so well? It's so hard. It's really, really, really hard. And the type of person I am, because I do connect with people, it makes it even tougher because you've got someone like Grimmy who wasn't playing today but was absolutely unbelievable last last week. But at the end of the day, they're, they're the problems that we want. And the boys have been like unbelievable, do you know what I mean? We said from the beginning, we'll always be open and honest. We'll have reasons for what, why we're doing things and we'll give them them reasons. And the boys are being brilliant. I think they understand that every every decision we make is is for this club. It's not not to do personal. There's no selfishness in it. It's just what we think at the time is best for the club. And sometimes we will get it wrong. Do you know what I mean? But when we we don't claim to know everything, we definitely don't claim that anyway. But we're we're learning at the same time. And but the lads have made it easy for me to the way the way I am learning because they they get it. The crowd were absolutely unbelievable today. I don't think they stopped singing, did they, in the Mac fans? Yeah, they like literally unreal. Um, me and Bez just being in the shower just then, and Bez was saying, like, he said, that was unreal today. He said, you could just hear them throughout the whole game, and uh, we can't thank them enough. Do you know what I mean? With, with that sort of support. Sorry, I just got cramped there. <laughs> <laughs> literally got cramped. Um, yeah, with that sort of support behind you, it is. People use the cliche of a 12th man, but it genuinely is, do you know what I mean? And can't thank the fans and um, hopefully they just keep coming, getting behind us because we love playing in front of them, do you know what I mean? And I think you can see from the from the boys at the end when they were showing the appreciation to just how much we really value that support. And of course, it's not just on the pitch, is it, as well? Because as Robbie said in an interview um, last week, you know, with the fan base we've got, it allows us to bring players in mm -hmm. of, you know, Pitsaluga standard yeah. and it allows us to, to retain yeah. uh, players like James Berry that we have um, this week so the impact is almost twofold both yeah. on and off the pitch isn't it? 100% well you know as a football player that at the end of the day at every single football club the fans are the most important do you know what I mean players, managers, owners come and go but the fans are always there and we appreciate that do you know what I mean and I've, I've been at some, some clubs where there's been tough times take for instance the Berry club when Berry was in that um, situation and I really got to see how much of a, imp a, a club impacts the fans and how the fans impact the club and without them the is no us so so we really appreciate it. As a Mac fan myself I think you know I speak on behalf of all of them and say we're so grateful with what we've got mm -hmm. and what we do have now is yeah. an eight point lead yeah. at the top of the division how would you assess that at this stage of the season? Um, listen, it's it's brilliant, it's fantastic, but it but at the end of the day, leagues aren't won in January, and that's one thing that we know we won't get ahead of ourselves. Now that was just another win. Do you know what I mean? Um, now we've got to go a tough game away to Kids Grove on Saturday. We have to go there with the same intention, the same intensity, and we don't rest on our morals. That's that we'll come into training on Tuesday and we go again. Every single game for me is a cup final. I think obviously being in this position now. Every Friday, I'm at home and I'm like, I'm th I just think I can't stop thinking of the game. Do you know what I mean? I, does everyone know how much this means? But the lads do, and that that's what makes it easy for me because we're sitting here four games, four wins, and and that I take no credit for that whatsoever. I give it all to the players, to the staff, um, and literally long may just keep continuing. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers.